welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. For those of you who don't know me, welcome. So today I decided to film a video that's a little bit different and more serious from the videos that I usually film. Today I decided to share my story of my near fatal experience with birth control. Now, I'm not making this video to scare you guys. I just wanna raise awareness of the potentially negative side effects that can occur while being on the pill. Just because birth control is becoming so popular and more and more people are starting to use the pill, I thought it'd be really important to share my story and my experience just to kind of make you guys informed of all the risks that could occur. And yeah, I decided to do this video as a draw my life video. I've seen this trend all over YouTube, so I thought why not give it a try? So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So where do I begin? I was just a regular university student when I began to hear more and more about birth control. All my friends were talking about how they started taking it, which made me consider it. I know some of my friends started taking it to regulate their periods or to reduce the pain of cramps, while others used it for acne. It was becoming so popular and everyone seemed to be loving it, so I decided to give it a go. So one day, I went to the doctor's office and picked up my first pack of birth control pills. The doctor went over some general side effects such as nausea, headaches, mood changes, and weight gain. These seemed fairly basic and unalarming, but I wanted to find out some more information before starting the pills, so I decided to do some research. I mean, after all, birth control is a hormonal medication. I found out that there are some more serious risk factors including susceptibility to blood clots, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and a family history of breast cancer. Regardless, everyone seemed to be doing fine, so I decided to give it a try. So I started taking the pills and everything was going great, until I reached the third week. That's when things took a turn for the worst. I began to experience pain in my calf, which then progressed to my thigh. Being very athletic, I just assumed that I pulled a muscle. One week later, the pain in my leg faded, but then I started experiencing difficulty in breathing and tightness in my chest. This began to become alarming, so I visited a walk-in clinic where they told me that I was experiencing anxiety, supposedly due to my overwhelming school schedule. So I was prescribed anxiety medication, but my symptoms were not getting any better. In fact, my symptoms actually just kept getting worse and worse. My shortness of breath got so severe that I barely ate anything because I couldn't stand long enough in the kitchen to make myself food, causing me to lose 30 pounds in about two weeks. So I decided to get a second opinion by another doctor. This time I was prescribed a puffer to help with my shortness of breath. Nothing seemed to be helping my symptoms and they only continued to get worse. Little did I know, I was experiencing my worst nightmare. One night, I had my most severe hyperventilation attack and I was taken to the ER. At the hospital, I had an x-ray and an ECG test done to see how well my heart was functioning. The doctors noticed an extremely regular heartbeat. Because of this, a D-dimer blood test was ordered. For those of you who don't know, a D-dimer test is a specialized blood test that detects blood clots. The result of the D-dimer test came back as positive, meaning that I did in fact have a blood clot. The doctors then wanted to find out where the blood clot was, so they ordered a CT test, which showed that I had many blood clots in both of my lungs. They diagnosed this as a bilateral pulmonary embolism. This would explain why I was struggling to breathe and why I had tightness in my chest. The doctors also mentioned that my hyperventilation attack was likely a small heart attack or a blood clot passing through my heart. I was immediately hospitalized and taken to the ICU for five days. I was prescribed high dose blood thinners and was on 24 hour watch. Finally, I was discharged and instructed to take blood thinners for another six months. I was so terrified. This was the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. But how could this happen to me? Why did this horrible thing happen to me while everyone else on birth control seemed to be just fine? After having taken the blood thinners for six months, I did another blood test which showed that I have low levels of protein C. Basically, protein C is responsible for preventing the formation of blood clots in the body. 
and since I have low levels of it, I had a higher chance of developing a blood clot. The doctors wanted to find out why I had low levels of protein C in the first place, so they did a genetic test. The results showed that I had a mutation in a gene responsible for producing protein C, which would explain why I had a deficiency. Although birth control itself does not cause blood clots, it does increase the risk of developing a blood clot by 3-4 to four times. So because I was on birth control and because I have low levels of protein C, I was a very high risk candidate for developing a blood clot and so I did. I was so shocked by my experience, which seemed so unheard of, that I decided to do some research. I found out that 16% of non-pregnant women in Canada between the ages of 15 and 49 take birth control. That's 1.6 million women in one country alone. I can only imagine what the statistics are on a global scale. I also found out that although the risk is small, 1 in 1,000 women per year taking birth control will develop a blood clot if they do not have any other pre-existing risk factors. However, my health condition gave me a higher risk of developing a blood clot. I found that it is estimated that 1 in 500 people have this mutation. So with all this information in mind, I just want to encourage you guys to be more cautious when considering taking birth control. So that's my story you guys. I hope that this video was interesting and informal and I hope that you've all learned something new. Um, once again, I just want to state that I'm not telling you guys not to go on birth control. I'm not saying that birth control will cause a blood clot. Um, this is simply my story and I really hope that my video encourages you guys to do your own research, to talk to your doctors, uh, to check your family history all before going on birth control. And also it's important to monitor any side effects that you guys may have and I strongly recommend that you guys go to a doctor if you have any questions, concerns, or any alarming side effects. Um, I also just want to point out that there are a lot of other risk factors that can increase your chance of developing a blood clot. Um, it's not only having low protein C levels, things like smoking, obesity, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, all those things can inc and increase your chance of developing a blood clot while on the pill. Um, so yeah, if you're someone who's thinking about going on the pill, um, make sure to maybe bring these risks up uh, with your doctor before starting the pills. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.